My name is AJ with Most Amazing, and these are the top 10 unsettling parallel universe evidence that scientists fear. At number 10 is Stephen Hawking's very last theory. The late Stephen Hawking, a big name in physics, left us with a curious theory right before his passing. You see, he believed in the existence of other parallel universes apart from our own. Hawking's final paper, co-authored by Thomas Hertog, aimed to lay down the math for a space probe that could spot evidence of these other universes, also known as the multiverse. So picture multiple universes, not just many planets, but entire realities entirely. Some are empty, others teeming with black holes, stars, and potentially life. See, this idea springs from the Big Bang Theory, the concept of the universe expanded from a singular tiny point. See, Hawking figured that our Big Bang was just one of countless others, each spawning its own universe. But there's no scientific test to actually prove the existence existence of these universes. This uncertainty bothered Hawking, and he wasn't a huge fan of the multiverse concept, yet he knew that to ignore it was a big mistake, like having a theory that doesn't say anything about our universe is pretty useless. But in his final scientific quest, Hawking aimed to control the multiverse. He and Hertog developed the math for a space probe able to detect gravitational waves from multiple different big bangs. Thus, they believed they could test the multiverse theory, giving us an actual shot at finding evidence. Their paper, which is titled A Smooth Exit from Eternal Inflation, submitted just before Hawking passed away, got scientists buzzing. Some say that this paper could have scored Hawking another Nobel Prize if it was just published just a little bit earlier. The ideas opened the door to finding proof of other universes, which is a mind-blowing prospect in the scientific realm. At number 9 is filling gaps in the scientific understanding with the multiverse. There are a whole ton of things that just don't currently add up in our cosmic playground. Take dark matter, for instance. We literally have no idea what it is or how how it operates, and yet it is the explanation for why our universe keeps expanding at an accelerating rate. You see, galaxies are supposed to be getting closer together thanks to the mutual pull of gravity, and yet here's this basically undetectable force that's overcoming the force of gravity and doing so at an exponential rate. This discovery implies the existence of a dark energy that counteracts gravity on cosmic scales, and yet the only thing that we know about dark energy is its name. Now, scientists have attempted to come up with a few different explanations for the origin of this counter-gravitational energy. One explanation is that, according to quantum theory, subatomic particles are constantly and spontaneously manifesting themselves into existence and then annihilating themselves out of existence. This process should endow the vacuum of space with energy, which could explain the whole you know, expanding universe thing. However, that energy would be 120 orders of magnitude too large to explain the anti-gravity effects that we witness in space. And so, the multiverse concept ties those ideas together in a neat little bow, claiming that perhaps in this universe, dark matter just isn't as strong as it should be, whereas in other universes, it's literally tearing everything apart. But that's not the only gap in our knowledge that the multiverse theory fills so gracefully. For instance, take string theory, which says there are like 11 different dimensions, but I don't know about you, but I only see four. Now that's a bit odd, but some scientists think that maybe string theory isn't just about our universe, but every possible universe out there. Also, have you ever considered about how everything just seems just perfect for life to exist in our universe, like the strength of forces between particles and how atoms stick together. Well, as it turns out, if there were more dimensions like string theory claims to be, then things definitely would not work out for life like it does here. So this multiverse idea could mean there are lots of different universes out there where life totally didn't exist at all. And maybe, just maybe, we're in one of those very few special ones where everything just worked out just perfectly for life to thrive. If you're enjoying this video so far, please support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. At number 8 is the Bicep 2 Gravity Waves. So there are these crazy cool ripples in space called gravitational waves. They're like essentially messages from way back when the universe was just a baby. Now these waves are discovered by the Bicep 2 team, which holds some seriously mind-blowing hints about the existence of our universe. So you know how after the Big Bang things expanded super fast? Well, these waves suggest that the expansion wasn't a one time deal. 
It's almost as if the universe hit the fast forward button multiple times, creating not just one, but a bunch of universes. And get this, the other universes might not play by the same rules as ours. They could be totally different, maybe with extra dimensions, like I previously mentioned, or bizarre stuff we can't even wrap our heads around. Plus, they might be way, way far off, like beyond what we can spy on with even the best space gadgets. So what Bicep2 found was like stumbling upon a map to a whole new multi-dimensional world, hinting that our universe might just be a tiny piece of something unimaginably vast. At number seven is the AMS experiment Positron Excess. A whole bunch of antimatter particles were discovered just hanging out in space. Picture them as the mirror image of the regular matter that makes up everything we see around us. We're still trying to figure out exactly where these particles are coming from, and one explanation is neighboring universes. Allow me to explain. Now there's a super cool gadget called the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, or AMS for short. It's perched up there on the International Space Station, keeping close watch on antimatter particles. And so the AMS found something really strange. A way larger number of these opposite twin particles, known as positrons, than anybody expected. The discovery was a cosmic clue pointing towards the existence of dark matter. So dark matter is the invisible substance actually making up a whopping chunk of our universe, even though we can't actually see it. Scientists have a hunch that when dark matter particles collide, they produce the very positrons that the AMS is spotting. This discovery of excess positrons could potentially be an evidence at the existence of another universe. You see, if dark matter exists and behaves like scientists think it does, then it could be a bridge in the understanding of our universe with the multiverse. But unfortunately, we can't know for sure because just science just ain't there yet. We're in the middle of this cosmic puzzle trying to figure out if these positrons are truly pointing us towards dark matter or if there's something else entirely going on in the universe. At number six is the cosmic microwave background. So the cosmic microwave background radiation is kind of like a glow that fills the entire universe. It's the afterglow of the Big Bang, the moment when the universe burst into existence. Now scientists study the cosmic microwave background to understand the early universe better. It's incredibly uniform, but there are tiny temperature fluctuations within it. These fluctuations have helped scientists map the distribution of matter in the early universe. Now, here's where this idea gets intriguing in terms of the multiverse idea. You see, some researchers have observed that these strange, odd cold spots in the cosmic microwave background don't fit expected patterns. These spots are unusually big and cold compared to what current models predict. Now, one hypothesis is that these cold spots might be evidence of collisions between our universe and another parallel universe. The idea is that if our universe collide or interact in some way with another, it could leave a mark on the cosmic microwave background, manifesting as these peculiar cold spots. It's a speculative idea and there's no definitive proof yet, but still, the study of these anomalies in the cosmic microwave background adds fuel to the conversation about the possibility of a multiverse. At number five is the fifth force and muons magnetic moment. Muons are like the heavier cousins of electrons, playing a big role in the world of subatomic particles. Scientists at a Fermi lab do this cool experiment where they trap billions of muons in a ring and watch them closely as they move. Now these muons, they have a magnetic quality that make them wobble as they zip around the ring. Now in the science world, there's this thing called the standard model that predicts how these muons should wobble. But here's the twist. Sometimes what they actually do doesn't match up with the standard model's predictions whatsoever. Now here's where it gets interesting. See, if these muons act differently, it might mean that there's something else out there, a mysterious particle, maybe a whole new force of nature influencing these muons. It could also mean that there's a whole new other set of rules in a parallel universe interacting with our own. Think of it as us glimpsing into another reality, something where the rules just don't line up with what we have here. At number four is quantum entanglement. In quantum physics, particles get tangled up together and when that happens, their properties become connected. Even if one of these particles ends up super far away, what happens to one particle affects the other instantaneously, breaking the rules of how we understand space and time. Now, how does this link back to the multiverse? Well, some scientists wonder if quantum entanglement could be a sign of parallel universes being connected to one another. The theory goes that if particles in our universe can be entangled, then what's stopping them from being entangled with particles in other universes too, like they're communicating across different realities. So if particles can be connected across vast distances in our universe, maybe the entanglement stretches into other realities, hinting at a network between different versions of reality. Might be a mind-boggling idea that quantum entanglement might be a key that unlocks the door to the existence of parallel universes. And number three is Leo Broussard at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. So scientists at Oak Ridge National Labs have been on the hunt for something pretty wild, which is 
the multiverse itself. They're using neutrons, tiny subatomic particles that hang out at atoms, to find clues about this idea of a mirror neutron, a right-handed universe, kind of like the opposite of our left-handed one. It's kind of like an experiment where uh, they're trying to break into the Stranger Things, you know, the, the upside down there. They're shooting these neutrons into a tube, hoping they'll sneak through a blocked end into the other side, basically looking for signs of where a parallel universe doesn't line up with our own. But unfortunately, there hasn't been any luck so far. The scientists admitted that they haven't spotted any evidence of parallel universes or strange interactions with these neurons flying through what they call the dark sector. They're not giving up though. More sensitive experiments are in the cards, so we might hear more about this experiment in the future. The scientists made it clear that finding something new here doesn't automatically mean that they've found a whole new dimension. It could just mean that they've got a better grasp on the particles that make up our own universe. And number two is the multiverse created in the lab. In 2013, researchers delved into the realms of parallel universes at the University of Maryland and College and Townsend University. Through an unconventional experiment involving metamaterials reminiscent of invisibility cloaks, they sparked the birth of multiple universes within a lab-created multiverse. These alternate realms, referred to as Minikowski space-times, elegantly incorporate time as a fourth dimension, aligning neatly with Einstein's special relativity. Astonishingly, the setup behind this cosmic wizardry is surprisingly straightforward, relying on a solution of cobalt-immersed kerosene. It's a captivating testament to human ingenuity, demonstrating that we can, in a sense, engineer our own universes, offering tantalizing hints at the existence of parallel ones, because if we can simulate our own universes, who's to say that our universe isn't simulated? And at number one is the Anita experiment, the scientific discovery that proves single-handedly the existence of parallel universes. Imagine a remote research station in Antarctica where scientists diligently hunt for cosmic rays. Now that's intriguing on its own, but it gets better. See, naturally, they had their instruments facing the sky, but then these researchers suddenly detect not one but two signals shooting out of the ground beneath them, defying all logic. You see, these rays of neutrinos are supposed to come from supernova. So it's super improbable that these rays are passing through the Earth without coming into contact with this single particle of matter only to land on a tiny weather balloon in the sky. So to make sense of this, scientists delved into over 40 papers offering a buffet of explanations like dark matter, elusive particles called sterile neutrinos, and then the grandest of them all, a parallel universe, essentially a mirror image of our own, but where time runs backwards. This audacious idea isn't pulled out of thin air, it's rooted in actual science, a theorem which hints that alongside our universe, an anti-matter universe stretches backwards through time before the Big Bang. But let's tap on the brakes here because there are more down-to-earth theories that have surfaced. So hold your anti-matter horses because as it turns out, it's more likely that these signals were reflected off the ice or skipped off subglacial lakes. The truth, it seems, is more grounded in reality. Reflect Reflecting high energy particles, not parallel dimensions. Sorry y'all, I mean, unless you want to go ahead and put away Occam's razor. As always, if there's evidence of a parallel reality that you think I've missed, feel free to let me know down in the comments. This has been AJ with Most Amazing, and I'll catch you all in another video. Later.